Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Moby Eight, and I have recently been putting my life into focus. You see, I've spent some time trying to find a voluntary placement in order to satisfy somebody who had a say on whether or not I would be able to get onto minister your course. The reality of the situation is that it has become a lot harder to volunteer anywhere in the UK. That it has almost become like applying for a job. And then we come to a more important truth. Yesterday I found myself helping somebody out because they put out a request in social media and I was in a position to offer my help. I helped my mother to go shopping nearly every day of the week. The coffee shop I go to on a Thursday, I find myself helping to take things into the kitchen with never being asked to. There may not be an actual organisation that I have a placement with, but I know I am there when I am in a position to help. We did Deuteronomy chapter 11 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Therefore, you shall love Yahweh your God, and keep his instructions, his laws, his practices, and his commandments always. Now this day, for I don't speak with your children who have not known, and who have not seen the discipline of Yahweh your God, his greatness, his mighty hand, his outstretched arm, his signs and his works, which he did in the middle of Egypt, to Pharaoh the king of Egypt, and to all his land, and what he did to the army of Egypt, and to their horses, and to their chariots. For he made the water of the Amsoth, to overflow them as they pursued you. And now Yahweh has destroyed them to this day. And what he did to you in the wilderness, until you came to this place, and what he did to Dathan, and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth, and swallowed them up, and their households, and their tents, and every living thing that followed them, in the middle of all Israel, but the eyes have seen all of Yahweh's great work, which he did. Therefore you shall keep all the commandments, which I command you today, that you may be strong, and go in and possess the land, where you go over to possess it, and that you may prolong your days in the land, which Yahweh swore to your fathers, to give to them, to the offspring, and land flowing with milk and honey. For the land where you go in to possess it, isn't as the land of Egypt, that you came out of, where you sowed your seed, and watered it with your foot, as a garden of herbs. But the land where you go over to possess it, is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water from the rain of the sky, a land which Yahweh your God cares for, Yahweh your God's eyes are always on it, from the beginning of the year, even to the end of the year. It shall happen, if you shall listen carefully to my commandments which I command you today, to love Yahweh your God, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, that I will give the rain of your land in its season, the former rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, your new wine and your oil. I will give grass in your fields for your livestock, and you shall eat and be full. Be careful, in case your heart be deceived, and you turn aside and serve of gods, and worship them, and your always anger be kindled against you, and they shut up the sky, so that there is no rain, and the land doesn't yield its fruit, and you perish quickly from off the good land which Yahweh gives you. Therefore, you shall lay up these words in your heart, and in your soul. You shall bind them for a sign on your hand, and they shall be frontlets between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children, talking of them, when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up, you shall write them on the doorposts of your house, and on your gates, that your days may be multiplied, the days of your children, and the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers, to give them, as the days of the heavens above the earth. For if you shall carefully keep all these commandments which I command you, to do them, to love Yahweh your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cling to him, then will Yahweh drive out all these nations from before you, and you shall remove nations greater and mightier than yourselves. Every place in which the soul of your foot treads shall be yours, from the wilderness, from Lebanon, from the river, to river Euphrates, even to the western sea, shall be your border. No man will be able to stand before you. Yahweh your God will lay the fear of you, and the dread of you, on all the land that you tread on, as he has spoken to you. Listen, 
I set before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, which I command you today, and the curse, if you do not listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, will turn aside out of the way which I command you today, to go after other gods which you have not known. It shall happen when Yahweh your God brings you into the land where you go to possess it, that you shall set the blessing on Mount Gezem and the curse on Mount Ebal. Aren't they beyond the Jordan, beyond the way of the going down of the sun, in the land of the Canaanites who dwell in the Arbar, near Gilgal, beside the oaks of Mare? For you are to pass over the Jordan, to go in to possess the land which Yahweh your God gives you, and you shall possess it and dwell therein. You shall observe to do all the laws and the practices which I set before you today. Music